Uh, John Keir, uh, a big game on Sunday. A lot of people will focus on it being Leon Price returning to Odsall Stadium, but it's more than that. It's the top side in Betfred League One against the third place side. Yeah, it is. It's a vital game. Uh, I think working team will view it as, as very important for their playoff hopes. And I think we obviously view it as very important for our uh, championship hopes. So, you know, we're, we're, we're attempting to cement that first place. And obviously two points are, are essential should we want to do that. Just as I'm sure Leon is saying to work it in two points is essential for them to clinch a home, semifi uh, home semi-final game in the playoffs. How do you approach this weekend's game, John? We approach it like the others. We've, uh, we've reviewed how well we played against North Wales. Uh, been happy with certain areas, uh, highlighted other areas that we need to improve upon, worked on those. Then we've had a look at Workington uh, in detail. Uh, we've highlighted the strengths and how we can negate those. And we've also highlighted some areas where we feel we might get a bit of joy. So uh, it, it's the same process and obviously we've put that into action with regard to our uh, training programme. And then obviously it's a matter of, uh, of making sure all the all the details there, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted, so all the players know their roles specifically. What do you make of Workington Town in, in 2018? Uh, experienced, <laughs> that is one, yeah, when you look at Sean Penkovic and Fufu Moy Moy and Ollie Wilkes, you know, so they've got some real quality experienced players there, tough, uh, direct and just like a Cumbrian team, they're very aggressive, so they're going to present lots of challenges and there's some cleverness in there as well. I, I like the half-backs, uh, I think they both contribute greatly. The wingman had a, a, a really good game uh, uh, the, the, against Coventry, so the, 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 they'll pose problems, uh, but so they should. If you're third in the league, you should be a good team. But what we've got to remember is we're first in the league and there's a reason for that as well. John, just focusing on the, the side's defence, uh, 160 minutes now without conceding. Uh, has there been talk this week about continuing that? No, not at all. You know, I mean, we talk about the processes rather than the, the outcome. You know, the zero is an outcome and we've, we're highly delighted with that. But obviously it's all the processes that you look at in order to do that. You look at what you do in the contact area, what you do in the retreat, and also what you do on the edges with regard to your decision. So all those are processes that we regularly look at and we, we work to make, in, make them a habit so the players don't necessarily have to think about them, they just react in a natural way. And uh, the, there's been loads and loads of work make on, on defence over the course of the season. I would say if you looked at our 100% preparation time, there's probably 60% on defence and 40 on attack. And, uh, and that's how we've looked at it because we just feel if you can defend well, you've got a great chance no matter what game you're in. And this was something that you, you, you had to change from, from the outset, not just to benefit the side for this season, but for future seasons. Yeah, yeah I, th I think what you've got to do is you have to enjoy playing with the ball. Uh, but that's easy to do. But you have to enjoy when the opposition have got the ball as well, and that ain't so easy to do, uh, because that ain't, that does require a foot of an, an effort from all thirteen players. Because even if the ball shifted away from it, you've got a role to do. So it really does mean that you've got to commit to that and you've got to buy into that. And I honestly believe that the players have this year. Is there any injury concerns going into Sunday's game against Workington? Yeah, there's one or two. Uh, but obviously what we'll do, we'll, we'll keep those between uh, the camera and myself because uh, you know we don't want to highlight anybody who they might try to spot up, etc. So there's one or two lads carrying bumps and bruises, but uh, there'll be some work into the lads carrying bumps and bruises as well because... You know, we're 20 odd games into the season, aren't we? Uh, but the team we turn out will be representative. The team we turn out will be fit, willing, and able to play. Are you happy with the Jordan Lilly, Joe Keys, Dane Chisholm experiment that took place last weekend? Well, uh, we won 48 0, so yeah, I think we're reasonably happy here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the, good, the good players. And uh, I've always bought into the philosophy that. Uh, your best players need to be on the field as often as possible and uh, and that's what we're trying to do and uh, you know we might well use the same uh, uh, tactic this week or we might alter it or we might have different starters uh, the three who are involved know what we're doing uh, nobody else does so that's good and uh, just focusing on Ross Oaks as well John because he's been playing centre and also second row the last couple of games yeah well, that's that's one of the benefits of the reserves uh, we tried that as an experiment in the reserves and it worked. 
So obviously that experiment from the reserves then transferred into the first grade and I think he's made a, pr a pretty good fist of it. You know, people looked and they thought, oh, there's, there's two backs on the on the bench. Well, there wasn't really because Joe was the hooker rotation by putting Jordan in there. And obviously uh, Johnny Pownell was the second row rotation by putting Ross out there. So, you know, it, it really does help us and he's done really well with it. And I see a lad now who really is progressing and, and improving game in, game out. And confidence, uh, big in rugby league, John, big in any sport, and great to see Ross Oaks out there playing with a smile on his face. I think it is, yeah, and, uh, and obviously we're proud as well because he's come through the ranks, hasn't he? He's another one who's come through the ranks, and there's a number of them featuring, and there's a number of them playing really well, and, and we're, we're pretty proud about that. But, uh, you know, just as with anybody we bring in, or anybody who's grown through our own ranks, they've got to justify being in the in the 17, in the first team, and it is at the minute. You mentioned the, the homegrown ranks, uh, one of those players uh, who made 50 uh, appearances for the club was Liam Kirk last week. Yeah, Captain Kirk, yeah, he's done well, hasn't he? And, uh, you know, again, you look back to the reserves when, you know, he was out of favour initially and he played that game against Wigan and that made a big, big impression upon me because there were some big boys in there and Navarat played for Wigan and Liam looked after him really well that game and, and that sort of got me thinking, well, this kid can play, this kid is tough, this kid can compete at this level and he's justified that. And he's played 50 games, he's 21 years of age, so you just imagine what it'd be like when he's 27, 28 years of age as a prop forward. And just uh, focusing on the reserves, a 16-all draw last night uh, against Keefley featuring uh, a couple of uh, first-team players like Callum Bustin returning from injury, Liam Johnson, Vila Halafihi, George Milton. Yeah, and again, there's the use of it, isn't it? You know, Callum has been injured for a month, played, you know, he was very sore with his knee, but he, he got through that, and it'll obviously help him become available for after the, uh, the two-week break. And as you say, George and, and Vila and Liam and, and Danny King, they, they felt a bit rusty, but what it does, it blows the cobwebs off. And uh, it, it really is a, a worthwhile uh, experiment as the reserve, but I'd just like to see it a, a little more structured from the central governing body point of view. And I'd like to see us playing every fortnight if possible. And uh, I believe, if it's correct, John, James Davis and, and Jordan Andrade, have, uh, have left the club and, and gone their own ways. Yes, they have, yes. And, you know, it was a mutual decision in, in both respects. They couldn't commit themselves to training to the A, to the level and B, to the amount of training that we did. So if that's the case, if they don't train, they can't be considered to play. Well, if they can't play, you know, as hard a ash as it may sound, there is a play, you know, used to the club. So we, we, we chatted to them and that was the, the, the outcome. And just finally, John, you mentioned a couple of weeks back that the planning and preparation for 2019 is underway, is everything good on all that f on the front? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>